we are still with z-scores. A z-score is a measure of relative position. The z-score of a data value is the position of that data value in relation to a fixed number. And that fixed number is the mean or the median. Whenever we are using the z-score as a measure of relative position, we are, we are making an assumption that our data set follows a normal distribution. What again is a normal distribution? It's something like this. If you were to produce a histogram, okay, the histogram is the frequency distribution of your data set. If you were to produce a histogram and the histogram looks something like this, it looks something like almost a perfect bell curve, then your data set has a normal distribution. And we are applying the z-scores only to a data set which we assume to have a normal distribution. So the z-score is a measure of relative position. It's the position of a data value in relation to another. And that other value is the mean. The mean has a z-score of 0. So this means if the z-score of a data value is 1, z is equal to 1, that means it is one standard deviation from the mean. If the z-score of a data value is negative 1, that means it is one standard deviation below the mean. There is a lot more to say about normal distributions, but I do not want to unload all those things that must be said about normal distributions because this video is not about normal distribution. This is about the z-score. But in passing, let me describe to you what these numbers mean. So if this is your standard normal curve, okay, these numbers represent the proportion of your data value. Okay, so if you were to add these two, it's equal to 68.2%. So this means that 68.2% of your data values are within one standard deviation from the mean. The total area of this region from 0 to negative infinity or to the left of 0 is 50%. The area of the region, of this shaded regions, to the right of 0 is also 50%. What does that mean? What that means is 50% of the values in your data set is less than the mean. Okay, so how do we compute for the z-score? Given a data value x of a data set that has a normal distribution, its equivalent z-score in the standard normal distribution is this. So it's just x minus the population mean divided by the population standard deviation. Or if your set is only a sample, it's equal to x minus the sample mean divided by the, by the sample standard deviation. Okay, so example. So it's a standard practice in hospitals to get the weights, to get the weight of a newborn baby. And based on a sample, the mean is 7.5 pounds. The standard deviation is 0.5. So what is the equivalent z-score of 7 pounds? If you have right before you a newborn baby whose weight is 7 pounds, what is the equivalent z-score for 7 pounds? And also what is the equivalent z-score for 8.5 pounds? Well, we just follow this conversion. So for x is equal to 7, for 7 pounds, its z-score is negative 1. For x equal to 8.5, its equivalent z-score is 2. What does that mean? That means a baby whose weight is 7 pounds is one standard deviation below the mean. A baby that is born with a weight of 8.5 pounds, its equivalent z-score is 2. That means a baby that is born with 8.5 pounds in weight is two standard deviations from the mean. Comparing z-scores, a coach and a lecturer, Jojo Macalintal, gave two sets of exams to the same class in Sports Science 101. 
One is a pretest, the other is a posttest. And this is the result, and this is the result of one student for the pretest and posttest. In which test did Hannah do better in comparison with her classmates? So let us use the Z score to answer this question. Okay, so let us get the Z score. What is the equivalent Z score of 77? And let us interpret it in relation to our standard normal curve. Well, for 77, its Z score is 1. And for 87, it's 2. Okay, so let us locate. One. Where is one? One is there. Okay. That is one. And when uh, z is two. Okay. So how do we interpret these results? So in the pretests, Hannah's z score is one. Is one. That means her score is one standard deviation from the mean. In relation to her classmate's score, it also means that her score is better than. Okay. Better than. 50% plus 34.1%, which is equal to 84.1%. Okay, where did I get these numbers? These are the combined areas of these regions. So her score is greater than 84.1% of the scores in the pretest. Uh, how about in the post test? Okay, where is 2? 2 is here. His post test has a Z score that is equivalent to 2. Okay, that one. So, what does that mean? That means her score in the post test is greater than. Since the Z score of 87 is 2. That means her score in the post test is two standard deviations from the mean. It also means that her score is better than 97.7% of the class. So, Hannah did exceedingly well in the post test. In the pretest, she was only better than 84.1% of the class. But in the post test, she was better than. 97.7% of the class.